So up until very recently, DNA testing, that's a very new thing. If a woman has 10 husbands and she's sleeping with all of them, say this is 40, 50 years ago, and she's sleeping with all of them, who's the father? You don't know. However, if a man has 10 wives, you know who the father is in all those, and he's sleeping with all of them. You know who the mother is. You know who the father is. So men have this and this is one of the reasons why it matters more to men. We have this evolutionary psychology, evo psych basis for wanting a woman who's not promiscuous because a woman who's promiscuous, you can't guarantee, if she's sleeping with a bunch of guys, you can't guarantee that you're the father of the child. Can't you break that evo psych? Because like we break certain evo psychs from the past where it goes yeah, we're like not, we're, we're not social ki- creatures. We're like not, we've evolved from that. Yeah, like we're not killing people with our bare hands still. Like obviously you're going to evolve with that why, as well. why are women attracted to tall men <clears throat> why are women attracted to tall men probably because they feel like it's someone you can like do protect, protect them you. yeah but that has an evolutionary psychology basis yeah, but a guy you... who's physically strong who's physically large is more capable of protecting you that's why women are attracted to tall men okay i'm not going to speak because i do know there's some women who like only want tall men most but, women prefer a tall men me, like most women i'm not how, saying all is i mean like there's not that many tall men out there so it's kind of like we're most well most men are taller than most women yes obviously most men are taller than most Most women. women would have an issue dating a guy who's shorter than you for example yeah okay why that has I that mean, has absolutely n- that has less of an impact on who you are as a partner than does someone's body count. I yet women care deeply about someone's height. It wouldn't like bother me because I literally said before you date, this. How tall are you? Five four. Yeah. I, I, you date a guy who's five feet. Be honest. Come five on. feet. Five, five feet. Just, well, yes. Five feet is like is that like I feel like I wouldn't even like meet a guy that's five feet. Like I'm sure, talking about like I'm using I'm trying to use like a more extreme example to kind of. Get well, to the point. that's not like a like a real life example though. Like a real life example would be like if I met a guy who's my height, and that like that could be possible. I mean, it would still be. You rare. would still prefer to date a guy who's taller though, correct? Yeah, who's at least like, I mean, honestly, if you're eye level, it's fine. Like if you see like she pulled up Tom Holland and Zendaya, but, like that's still a really cute couple, and like she's taller than him. Okay, sure, but would you agree that generally speaking, most women, fifty percent or more of women have a preference for men who are taller than them. Yeah, and most men are taller than them. So how is that an issue? Because most men will be... The average height for a guy is 5'8". The average height for a girl is 5'4". But they don't have that preference... They don't have a preference for taller men because it happens to be the case that most men are just naturally taller. It does happen to be the case. Most men are naturally taller. Yes, most men are naturally taller. Yeah. But that's not why... It's not because there's a a lot of men that are naturally taller than women, that women are attracted to that. I mean... Women are attracted to tall men because it goes comes down to protection, provisioning. A guy who's physically bigger, who's physically taller than you, is more capable I mean, of like, protecting you. When I'm fishing out for a guy, like if I'm like looking for a guy, I'm not going to be like, mm, It's not even something women intellectualize. <gasps> also, I feel like the... I don't think height can be like a make or break where for women. Like if they like someone, I think height won't be an issue. Whereas with this whole virginity thing, it seems like it's like a make or break. You will only take a virgin. No, I never, I never said or that. Or these men will. Well, the guys in the chat probably. What, were they saying no hymen, no diamonds? Is that the <laughs> fucking saying? <laughs> yeah. So, so like certain stuff like that. I mean, like the whole key thing was brought up about how like. I mean, it's. I'm not like saying. Like, obviously, like, I'm not going to have a high-ass body count if I want a guy who, like... But, I mean, like, I guess why most, even most women themselves don't want to be promiscuous. So it's just, like, why yeah. defend? Well, I'm not, I'm not trying to defend promiscuous. I'm trying to, like, understand. I was, like, I was fine with the whole, like, you saying, like, you want a low body count. But the thing that, like, made me upset was the, the whole virgin thing. thing. <laughs> no, where it's, like, you can have a low body count, but I don't have to. Like, because that's a do- double mm-hmm. standard. In my or you, you mean a high body count? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like where it's like you can you have to have a low one, but I don't have mm-hmm. to have a low one. That's what like I was like, well, what? That's like not fair. Well, I mean, I don't think it's necessarily hypocri- hypocritical. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's hypocritical to, and I and I'm maybe beating a dead horse here. Um, I don't think it's hypocritical to desire something 
in a partner that you yourself do not possess. Like I want a woman who's really feminine. I'm not feminine, mm -hmm. but I, I want a feminine woman. But that's not something that you guys can both have the same thing. Like, I mean, like if you think about it, like body count, is something that you guys are like, it's like, that's another example, like working out. That's something that you guys both have an experience. Like it's a thing that like you guys experience. It's not like something that you carry on physically or sure. something like that. Okay. Did you want to come in? No. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> Did you have something else? I mean, I, I, I don't. I need to get through a little bit more of the body count stuff. So, um, there's also an STD risk. That's why men care about body count too. Well, I get that. That's like a whole different. I thing. mean, men and women can both care about yeah, that. Yeah, totally like, like the more different the more promiscuous you are, the more the greater likelihood of getting an STD. Mm -hmm, that is very true. So that's the thing. Um, but that's both sides. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah, that's both sides, but. Uh, that's one reason why men care about body count. Um, I mean, I understand why they care about body count. I just was not getting the whole thing well, about like the whole where it's like you have to have the low one and I don't. Well, I, I mean, I've given I, it seems like you don't agree with me, which is fine. But I've already I've already basically given you my position yeah. that my position is you need not have the same traits or characteristics in yourself that mm -hmm. you desire in a partner and you you think it's different and perhaps you disagree. I don't know if we'll find common ground on mm -hmm. that front. So I'm just, I mean, I don't know if, I have not convinced you on that, so I'll just keep it moving. Okay. But um, the other thing is a reputational thing. If you're dating a promiscuous girl and all your buddies hooked up with her, it's like a reputational thing too. Also, if I'm close, like, if you're like in business, right? And this is a shitty example. This is not a good one that's gonna convince anybody. But it, it is reputational, like nobody wants to, be with a girl and like, and maybe you guys feel the same way. Like you don't want to get with a guy and all your girlfriends hooked up with him. Yeah, no, mm -hmm. of course not. We yeah, so not. like we don't want a girl. But if it was like a, a girl who had just come to town, she didn't have any ties to other people and she happened to have... A hundred bodies. I feel like that's extreme. Not a hundred. Hey, but I, like... I know some 19-year-old girls. Actually, I know a 17-year-old girl with a uh, hundred bodies. Well, I don't, I don't know her. My Is she one... okay? Like, is there something? Yeah. My, like, it's uh, a. I think actually you might know her. Mm. One, I think it's either Tristan or Luke's. One of their friends that like they just graduated high school. Well, and you don't? Did you know? Tristan. Tristan. What about Tristan? He he knows a girl. I don't know her. He knows her. He told me about her. Uh, he knows a girl. Seventeen's like slept with a hundred dudes. I don't know who she okay. is. Okay. In any case, it doesn't matter. I know a 19-year-old girl that slept with 100 dudes. Like, so there's not that out out there. Hmm. But continue on oh, with I your was point. Saying, I don't know. That's pretty crazy if a girl has like 100 body counts at the age of 17. What? No, you were saying reputationally. What if she was just new oh. to town? I mean, it's just a reputation thing. I mean, it's reputation. Um, the big thing is is that okay? There's there's kind of like three major things. So. The more sexual partners you've had, the more promiscuous you are, the greater likelihood of infidelity. The more promiscuous you are, the that greater... both ways. Sure. But that's why it matters to men. Um, the greater likelihood of infidelity, the greater likelihood of reporting relationship debt dissatisfaction. Also, pair bonding. Your ability to pair and bond with someone after you've had so many previous boyfriends and relationships and experiences and baggage and fights just continually starts to get chipped away as you continue to have more and more partners. Okay. I see like where some of these points are coming from for the most part, besides the double standard thing for like where it's just applicable to, applicable to women. The part I don't think that resonates is that the verbiage you're like this isn't the type of verbiage that most guys who are like I want a virgin are using the most guys that are like I only want a virgin it's not for these reasons that you're bringing up that are like valid points it's because they have this obsession with virginity that I'm like I don't understand do you get what I'm saying like the majority I mean, I, of these men I don't know who I don't these think they are. know I these don't. what when you say these men, I'm not sure who you're referring Mainly to. Mainly people in the chat. I don't, yeah, I don't know. But look, the pair bonding thing is the big one. 
once you've had a ton of relationships, once you've had a ton of partners, you you lose your ability. And, and also if you view sex as this casual thing, you decouple intimacy from sex. That's how people, a lot of people bond. One of the big ways people bond is through sex. Mm -hmm. And if it's a sport to you, if it's just sport fucking, if, if sex it, to you is just like a handshake, if it's just nothing to you, then... Yeah, I wouldn't want that either. That's something like you... I wouldn't want to like have someone who does, just thinks sex is just like a one-night type of thing. Like Obviously, I want someone who views sex as a very intimate... Yeah, I mean, a high body count, it's, like, it's an indicator of her general attitude mm -hmm. towards sex. It, te it tends to suggest that sex, it's not something particularly intimate to her. Mm -hmm. It's rather sport, pleasure, excitement. Um, so greater likelihood of cheating, high body count equals high probability of cheating. It's, uh, it's also like, if you're number 51, it's just like, I don't know, the, the, the first moment that there's a difficulty or a rough patch in the relationship, if you're number 51, she's gonna be like, you know what, new answers, new guy, I'm out. They're much, someone with a high body count is much less likely to stick it out in a difficult part of a relationship. Jackson super chatted $50. You don't understand the virginity thing because you could never fathom being tricked into raising a child that isn't yours. Yeah, so he's well, we talking- We have DNA tests for that now. That doesn't undo, it doesn't undo the gut feeling that men have when it comes to promiscuous women. I don't, I don't think women can't really empathize with this because women, you can't like a guy can't commit, uh, I suppose it would be called maternity fraud on you, but it's a very real fear for a man to like say with a partner that he wants to have a child with. It's a very real fear that if he has a kid with, or thinks he has a kid with that woman, but the kid's not his women that can't happen to a woman. If you get cheated, like you cannot, if you have a kid, you know for a fact that kid is yours. If a man has a kid, absent a paternity test, there's no way to, with certainty, know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's, that's an evolutionary psychology reason why, like it's, it's in our gut why it matters, why promiscuity matters. A promiscuous woman, she's more likely to cheat, she could, it, it's just innate. I mean, I'm trying to grasp like Why? how being a virgin would make it more possible.